Hello, welcome to my video blog. My name's Sam Betts and I'm doing some workshops on application development in SharePoint. So there's my contact details and my blog address, please check it out. But today we're going to, in 10 minutes, build an application in SharePoint that will store some data, give us a form interface to that data, report on it and then uh, put it all in the dashboard for a nice view altogether. And finally, we will see what Tristan the SharePoint cat thinks of it. Yes, Tristan the SharePoint cat. <laughs> and the premise is I want to build a pet store as I sell pets. So I will put that in here. Creating. Good times. Okay, so here's our empty SharePoint application. Or empty empty SharePoint site. But you can create sites even without this. And use completely your own code if you so wish. But um, for the purposes of this demo, I won't. Alright, so what I'm going to do is create myself some lists. Um, we can do it either in the web browser, uh, but I in fact will do it in SharePoint Designer. There it is. And so I'm going to open a site which will be this site, the site we created in uh, Central Administration. Here we go. So this is the same site now, but we're looking at it in SharePoint Designer. Um, SharePoint Designer, the only reason I'm using it is because it makes creating things a bit quicker. Um, so what I'm going to do is create uh, two lists, one of which will hold inventory information, the other of which uh, will contain sales of inventory. Okay, so let's take inventory. What we're going to do is straight away add some columns onto it because at the moment we have one, uh, everything gets title in one form or another, so that's fine. We can just go ahead and not do that. We can rename that to, say, for example, uh, item name. <coughs> But also, I want to add some columns to it. Obviously, um, any inventory items can have a price. Good. Right, now I've done that, I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to my lists and open sales. And now, what I want to do is edit the columns. Again, we get title, so I'm just going to rename that to customer name because I want to know who bought what products. Uh, also going to add uh, customer email. Fairly straightforward so we can send them mail shots later maybe. Uh, but importantly I'm going to add a lookup to the other um, ooh, hang on. Uh, yeah to the other list, the inventory list and I'm interested in the item name field, so not going to allow blank. Uh, this is the item sold. This is the equivalent of doing a foreign key. Um, if you were going to do it in SQL. And finally, we're going to add quantity. Actually, I say finally. It's not final at all. We want to know when an item was sold, so date of sale. So if I save that, we now have two lists of which we can now enter data into. Let's have a look at our browser again. Now if I refresh this now, there we can see our two lists appearing. Um, I'm going to add some inventory first of all, so that we have uh, something we can sell. 
and I'm going to do this in the datasheet view. All right. So that's all of our data that I'm going to put in for now. Um, we've got a couple of dogs in there and a couple of cats as well. So now I'm going to go to sales and I'm going to again use the data list data sheet view. Now we have some sales and we have some products, so that's good. Now time to see that data in a useful way. I'm going to export this list to Excel, which in fact, if you know Excel at all, just exports a query file basically. So uh, we want to see this data in a pivot table report. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add some fields, um, items sold, and the quantity is what I want. Uh, not content with just doing that, I'm going to create a uh, fancy looking pie chart. Uh, let me see, blah 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 blah, okay, yeah. Let's have uh, one of these looking pie charts. No report is complete without a pie chart, uh, as we all know. Now, just to prove that it really does work, uh, what I'm going to do now is update it. So let's pretend that Bob comes back. It turns out Golden Retrievers eat a whole load of food, so he needs some more dog food. Right, so save that. There's our new item. So what we will see now in Excel is that data connection update. And there we go. We can see dog food has jumped in quantity thanks to our friend Bob. And the report has updated accordingly, so good times. Right, next thing I'm going to do is I want to actually store the report in the, sh the site as well, because at the moment it's just a book, not saved. So I'm going to go to libraries and I'm going to create a new place to put my Excel reports. So report, or even better, I can see it in Explorer. And with that, I can copy that address into Excel here. Okay, and we call it Sales Overview. Save. Okay, so once I've uploaded it, I can open it directly in the web browser, and here it is, the same spreadsheet, but in the web browser. I'm going to add that uh, Excel view to my homepage, because it's sales and that's what pays the bills. So uh, I'm going to add a, add a web part called Page Viewer, and it's pretty simple, it's just an iframe. Um, and in that iframe, I'm going to paste the URL of our Excel spreadsheet. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, there it is. Uh, looking a bit small, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's at least 500 pixels high. Say OK. OK, jolly good. Um, also, I want to be able to see what we're even setting. Um, just because I can. So I'm going to add the inventory list to the right hand side because it's not a very wide table at all. Uh, and in fact I can use the list directly without even going to the list itself now. Which is good. Welcome to the pet store. Woo! A cat friendly pet store. What do you think Tristan? Good, don't you, Tristan? <laughs>